Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, another uh, episode of Stuff for Guys here. So today we're looking at my, I got a, a Brownies third long. This is the uh, the 390 model, which has um, on the back side here, essentially it's a double piston pump. You got a, a piston run running that way and a piston running that way. Um, so this, this is, puts out a little more airflow than the single piston, obviously. Um, so, uh, you know, using it like normal, I mean, this thing's probably, I don't know, eight years old, but I rarely use it. I mean, it's one of those things that uh, if I lived a little closer to the ocean or whatever, I'd use it a little more, but whatever. Long story short, I'm using it for some work underwater, and uh, me and a couple other guys, and, and it just cut out on me. And needless to say, I was pissed. And um, yada, yada, yada. So I was like, oh shit, you know, it's going to cost me a fortune to get this thing fixed, right? Because it was locked up. You, you know, you pull the pull, the pull start and, uh, and, and you know, nothing pretty much. It was, it was locked up. You couldn't, you couldn't move it. So whatever. So I started doing some research online. Long story short, I come across... The United States Consumer Product Safety Commission website. And there is a recall on these things. And it says, Brownie's third long recalls air compressors due to drowning hazard. Now, luckily for us, we were three, four, five feet underwater. Nothing crazy. It cut out. Everyone kind of got a half breath. You know, we come up, no big deal. I mean, I usually, I mean, nine times out of ten, I got my kids in the pool on this thing. So luckily, it wasn't that. This wasn't the case. So long story short, um, we got a recall. Let me. Uh, so the biggest thing on the recall was the they have uh, model numbers or serial numbers. I don't know. It's kind of hard to read here. But you got gas powered. You got the FX 280, 390, C270, C390. CTD390 and the serial number there 14421 through 15715. And then you got dual head electric drives, the E250, the EC2 14344 through 15762. So essentially, if you got anything in the early 14s to late 15,000s, you know, you might qualify. You, you know, you might be there. So long story short, I call Brownie and I say, hey, I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get some more information on the recall. They, uh, they kind of play a little stupid. Oh, uh, we don't know anything about a recall. And, I, and I, I'm reading from the website. I'm like, the one that could cause imminent death if you're using it at, at you know, deep, deep, uh, you know, water levels. Yeah, drowning hazards and whatnot. Oh, yeah, 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 let me put you through the right department. So long story short, they started getting, you know, once I spoke to the right person, they started getting a lot more receptive. And long story short, they give me a shipping number, drain the oil, drain the gas, ship it back to us. We'll take a look at it. You know, no, no promises. So the problem is, is the, the reason for the recall is inside, inside this, you got your shaft coming out of the motor. And you got your two pistons, and each piston has a has a um, a, um, a bearing in it. So the bearings that they got from their manufacturer didn't have enough grease in them. So long story short, they're short lived. They, they they burn up. So they inspected them, and they found that they it was uh, covered under their over their warranty. So they did a bunch of work. And one of the things I love that they did is right here, when they shipped it back to me, here's, here's the old bearings, cams, O-rings, there's a bearing, these are the sleeves. I mean, they just shipped back, they shipped back everything. Now, there was more in here, too. There were, um, there were the two rods and some other shit that got busted, which I knew I would never be able to reuse any of the parts, so I chucked some of it. But, you know, some of these, the sleeves, I mean... They might have got a little additional wear because of the bearing going out, but they're not toast. So I kept them. I mean, what the hell, right? 
but I thought it was really cool. They sent back all the parts. You know they did the work. I get it back. It's running like a champ. Everything's good. Hey man, turn that frown upside down. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I went from, I went from being pretty bummed out because I thought I was probably going to drop 500 to 1,000 bucks to figure it out, get it fixed, get it going, get all that stuff. Ended up not costing me a penny, which, you know, was obviously a beautiful thing. A couple phone calls. But, uh, yeah, so, hey, if you got a brownie stirred long, check out the, uh, the Consumer Product Safety Commission Board, whatever, website. I just did a search for brownie stirred long recalls. I think it came out, it was like number one or number two on the list uh, on Google. And, um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's one of those things where it's, it's, not, it's good information. But other than that, hey, man, I haven't had any problems. Thing runs and runs and runs. As long as you got gas in it, you're good to go. So if you got any questions, hit me up. Uh, but, uh, yeah, check out my other videos. Got a couple other things here and there. Uh, let me know if you got any specific questions. I'll try to answer whatever I can. And, uh, yeah, dive safe, and we'll talk to you next time.